Okay, the, the next two jumps, we've got the forward straddle. A moment ago, we did the forward shuffle and the rearward shuffle. This is the forward straddle and the rearward straddle. Now, you just gotta do this, all right? Um, the first thing you do, again, always outside the unit if you have a problem, but the side straddle looks like this. You're just going back and forth here. Now, there's a limit to how wide how wide you can make your feet before you're definitely going to get caught in the rope. So again, work within uh, a very tight spacing in the beginning and then uh, work off of that. So here I go for the side straddle. Nah, that's not too tough. I can feel it nicking my foot over here like it's about to get caught, but it's not. I've got a sense of how that. Now if I really want to widen it out, I need to widen my feet out, excuse me, my hands out because that creates uh, more of a bowl-shaped rope swing down at the bottom instead of a V-shaped thing when you got your hands tight. So in order to complement to a, a, a side straddle is little wider hands. That'll, that'll shallow out the bottom of the swing. What's next? Well, the forward straddle. So I bet your powers of deduction will allow you to imagine what that must be. There's the forward straddle. There, excuse me, there's the rear, uh, side straddle. This is the forward straddle. And a little more work, your feet. Because you've got to stay on the balls of your feet, and yet one in front of the other makes that a little hard. So, so here. And I'll turn to the side so you can see that. That is the forward straddle, and this is the side straddle. All right. Very good. Give it a whirl.